I'm sure I'm thankful to get to be here this evening. I'm thankful to get to see everybody and be with everyone one last time and one more time. And Need your prayers this evening. I feel weak within myself. But yep. yep. Here we are. Thank you that the Lord's strong. And yeah. Yeah. Learn sometime, some time ago that there's not a whole lot to me, but my Father, He's something special. Yeah. Feel like if we would take heed to Brother Chris already, and I'll just take a couple minutes and I'll let Brother Elisha come, and, or however you want to, and yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just take a minute and get out of the way. But I think if we just would take heed to what Brother Chris has already tried to lay out this evening, and we would take reflection maybe on ourselves a little bit. And I feel like we live in a world that's trying to convince us every which way that there's no there's no purpose, there's no point. Just live your life and go on about it. It's, it's what feels good, Brother Bob. Just go ahead with that for a little while and run with that. and Don't know what the case will be. And, but if I understand just for a few minutes that hopefully I can get myself out of the way and been thinking to myself a little bit, maybe on just which way to go and trying to think what words it is that would maybe try to strengthen us, brothers, and I need your prayers. This thing, it's not about me and about standing up here and about any glory for us, but it is, like you said, brother. It's great to get to be together, but if we've missed the Lord, we've missed everything. Amen. Yeah. I learned sometimes, it's like Brother Chris, what he hit on was a little bit what I've been thinking about for a week or so. Sometimes we we think we're doing pretty good, and we think yeah. we think that I'm doing pretty good. I serve the Lord pretty good. We go to funerals <laughs> when we're called, don't Look we, brother? And yeah, right. We do all these good things. Yeah, brother, they've been telling me I've done a good job, and yeah. These things you hear, these things, and yep. talking to Momo about a week and a half ago, and she began to say, "I'm getting my house ready. I got all this company coming in." And I said, "Who's coming in this time on you?" And she said, "You wouldn't know them." And she began to tell me. She said, "I'll tell you about them. No, this family we've been." Yeah. Lord, my whole life, she said. That's Brother Lester, I, she yeah. said we would always have them over. She said they had a whole slew of kids and we had ours. And She said they would come and they would stay with us in our little two-bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. She said, and Papa, oh, he would get us a little cotton. He would take it and he'd put it out in the garage. And she said that me and I told we would go and we would sleep out there. And I thought, out in the garage, yeah. I kept waiting for her to say how the children or something was out there, but she said, no, me and I told we would just wait and we'd go and we'd sneak in there and just lay down. And I thought, there's something about this. Yeah, she began yeah. to say to me a little bit more. She said, this family, they were always poor and her boy's called and he wants to come and stay and you don't have any money to stay anywhere, Brother Larry. And Brother, she began to tell me, she said every time I talked to her, she said I always worried about her kids. She said, so every Christmas I slip $50 in a car and I'd send it up a little early. That way maybe they could buy her, her kids and grandkids something. And I thought, I wonder how many people she does that for. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many yeah. people she just slips a 50 in a little yeah. envelope and says, take care of your children. And I think to myself, you think you're doing pretty good, are you? Yeah. Yeah. She said, you know, she brought these strangers in pretty much and yeah. she'd just leave her house and she'd go on about her way. And I think... How much of us were all worried about everything we buy, you know, yeah. this pretty yeah. stuff. And, yeah. Yeah. and brother, I don't believe she even gives it a thought. She just leaves and yeah. goes on Saturday night, comes, well, i got to go to church. 
church and yeah. come in and they just come and they, oh, we bring her home and they're just sitting in her living room. <laughs> and I, so you think you're doing pretty good, don't you? Yeah. You yeah. think you're pretty, yeah. uh, you're something special, but uh, how many of us, we hold on to everything? Oh, brother, we hold on to all the little things and uh, uh, brother, put it up something special. Yeah. Uh, on one rider he rode uh, and he, he always, I believe, called him the preacher. Uh, yeah. uh, brother, and it said yeah. this man, uh, he, he began to ponder the meaning of life. Uh, yeah. uh, brother, the great mighty king uh, with everything at his disposal. Yeah, yeah. had it all. He said, I'll withhold nothing. Yeah. The finest things in life, I'm going to I'm gonna partake, I'm gonna gather them, I'm gonna yeah. keep them up, I'm gonna indulge in them, brother, I'm gonna see what's in this. Said he lived that way for a year or two. He looked back at it for the last year or two and he said, all is vanity and vexation. All is vanity and vexation. He said, I'll, here's what I'll do, I'll withhold everything. And he began to withhold everything from his life and Brother, and he did that. He did that for a while, and he looked back and he said, "What is it? All oh, is vanity yeah, and vexation." Right. Yep. 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 Brother, and I follow the more money that I make in this life, the more I see that everything I buy, it's nothing. Yeah. All the fancy things you want to know. Sometimes well, we're blessed to go and we're traveling and everything else, and we see these pretty sights. But guess what? We get in this plane first to go there. Yeah. And brother, and we start taking off, and that plane starts shaking. And brother, and I'll look around a little bit and make sure yeah. nobody else is nervous. To, uh, yeah. Make sure this is okay. And look at the steward, the stewardess, maybe, and think, well, I guess we're okay. But, yeah. and brother, when it really starts shaking sometime, and brother, and those nice, pretty places are something. Uh, and my brother, and you want to talk about peace. Uh, and brother, when that plane starts shaking, uh, and I can just bow my head down uh, and say, Lord, I'm yours anyway. Uh, if you want us to fly, we're going to fly. Uh, and if we're going to go down, uh, it's going to be because you said it so. Uh, and brother, but either way, uh, I'm going with you, Lord. Uh, I take care of my children. Uh, I'll watch them for me. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, and I'm going to be with you. Yeah. That's right. That peace is prettier than anything I've ever seen. Yeah. You know, that peace right there is what Brother Chris was trying to get across to us all. We put stock in all these things. We put and we hold it up and we work and we slave and we try to go on and get all these things and say, look at this. Look at what I've made. Look what I've done. Uh, I'm buddy, I'm proud of you. Look at what you've accomplished. Yeah. Uh, brother, it's all vanity and vexation. Uh, if we've left the Lord out of yeah, it, right, uh, right. brother, and there's right. one joy uh, right here in this life. Uh, I'm brother, and it ain't from a, a, a store bought goods. Uh, I'm brother, but it is a peace uh, right down inside that only the Lord gives. See all these little children running around. I see young little boys asking prayers for their dad. Yeah. yeah. See little foster kids running all over. Yeah. Those things are good, but brother, and guess what? I'm blessed by him, not the other way around. Yeah. 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 Brother, yeah. that's something. When I get up and I gotta out preach him last weekend, because he's hooting and hollering in front of me. And brother, we think how good we're doing, aren't we? Guess what? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe God bless a uh, place of blessing uh, yeah. for us, brother. And it wasn't for us, for them. Uh, uh, brother, he said, "Here's a blessing." Uh, uh, sometimes we always got the car wrong. Uh, uh, brother, and we always thinking backwards. Uh, uh, brother, and there is one joy in this life. Uh, uh, brother, and it is in serving the Lord. Uh, uh, brother, but sometimes uh, we gotta quit thinking like the world taught us to. Yeah. <laughs> Quit thinking about the way that the world says there's no point in it. There's no point in this thing. How can you convince me to stop serving the Lord when it's the best thing that I've ever done for the body? Convince me, tell me there's no Lord, and guess what? I'll see you next year on this time. 
If I'm alive, then I'll see you next year. And on Sunday, I'll see you at church. Why would I stop doing the best thing that I've ever found? Yeah. Brother Larry? Come on. I tasted of the world, yeah. brother, and it's yeah. bitter. Uh, right. Brother, That's and right. I tasted of my Father. Uh, I'm brother, and I found true joy. Uh, I'm brother, and yeah. out of that only He gives, Brother Larry. Amen. It's wonderful to be taught the right things. It's wonderful to be showed the right things. But it's just like when I got off the phone with Momo and thought for about a week or so on it. I thought, am I doing enough? Am I getting out there enough? Am I doing enough things? Are we serving God the way that we could serve God? Are we putting ourselves out there denying ourselves and showing this world what our Father has done for us? Are we showing them? It's like old Peter. Brother and he was going to he was gonna curse and yell and scream to try to to try to prove to this world that he wasn't. When already those men said, "Your speak, it do it for trade." Yeah, yeah. yeah. brother, and see, there's something about us yeah. that we'll let God show in our lives, brother. We always want to think, brother, in that. We gather out here, and I know that it struggles sometimes, and I know, but we gather, and we think that uh, what we do, how can I make a difference? Uh, how can I do? Uh, how can my life mean anything? <coughs> you know what also we get fooled with? We want big wows. We want big things. You know how many people come to me at church, and they'll begin to talk to me, and they say, I feel I need I need a bigger heart. I feel that God's telling me I need to do something more. You know what I want to tell them sometimes, but I can't. Why don't you do the little things then? Yeah. There you go. Why don't you show up to church? Yeah. Why don't you why don't you help sing more? Why don't you do this? See they don't we all we don't want to do the little things because that takes energy. Yeah, that takes effort. We want the big thing. We want to be the, the youth pastor. We want to we want to do the next Bible study. We want we want to do this so that everybody sees it. But brother, yeah. what we miss, uh, we miss all the little things. And guess Amen. what? Yeah. Uh, what I found is that little things uh, is what people come up to me later and say, uh, how, "How that that was something." And I think, what are you talking about, uh, uh, brother? And that yeah. was nothing. It's the little things. Yeah. It's just being a good Christian. Uh, it's just striving. Uh, yeah. uh, trying to be better. Yeah. Guess what? We all fall. Uh, but do you want better? Uh, do you want more? Uh, uh, God, lead me and God, show me. Amen. Amen. And He will. Brother. Yes, sir. He'll train us if we let Him. He'd lead us. It's not always the great big grand gestures. It's not always about filling it up. It's about, I don't care if it's one or two. Lord, when we get them, let's preach to them. Yeah. God, when they ain't even here, when I'm out here, help me yeah. to be a better light. Let my light shine that even if I can't get them in, yeah. maybe they can see you a little bit through me. Yeah. Yeah. I love each and every one of you. And I'll let you come on with your rankings, brother.